You want to know what's weird? What's weird, David? It's totally pointless. It means nothing, but I'm going to do it anyway. Check this out. This is my cursor. This is yeah. my cursor. You see it? You see uh -huh. my cursor? Yeah. This is my cursor. 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 Right. Oh, no. <laughs> I just let go, and it, like, aim assist suction cups to bed. <laughs> Even at, like, far away. Oh, see, now I hit door, so it's going to aim assist suction. Okay, now I hit lighting. Oh, I was about to say that Morgana from Persona 5 had taken over the controller, you know? Go to bed! Well, I understand you wanted to use that joke once we found out, but I got sucked away from the bed, you see. Yeah, I know, so I can't make it anymore, but, but I wanted are... to bring it up anyway. Yeah, you, you did. It kind of didn't matter. Isn't that weird? Like, you might be trying to look at something real specific, but if your cursor has gone over something once... Yeah, but... then it, like, locks it in the memory or something. Yeah, now, however, that I know how this works. Oh, did you see that? Way down here! Whoa. How do you break it? Wait a minute, wait a minute. So now it's off. Okay, I think I figured it out. It actually <laughs> does have to do with like a type of continuous m movement, not not pressure per uh -huh, se. Uh -huh. This is totally useless. <laughs> it means nothing, but it makes me wonder why did they program in this bizarre and inconvenient function? Because we'll be trying to get at a person who's in between two doodads, uh -huh. and it'll just keep like bloop, 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 sucking around, and so I hate it. Speaking of bizarre and inconvenient, we're the Boo Sweet Gamer. Oh, I was going to say, speaking of getting sucked into inconvenient and bizarre things while trying to do something else. Yeah, but mine was faster. Faster it was. I'm the Opinionator. And I'm Wee Squared. Right, so we're still doing free time, and so we're still doing free time. Very well put. It is what it is. <laughs> Taco Cat. Well, I say that because Taco Cat is a palindrome. It's a fake palindrome. It's like an internet meme palindrome. It's not really a palindrome. Well, Taco Cat isn't actually a word. I'm sorry, It's it, the meaning of Taco Cat is clear. Really? Yeah. Look for Taco Cat online. Everybody knows what Taco Cat is. The reason it's a fake palindrome is because Taco Cat is two words. Oh. And so when you do it backwards, it, it shifts where the word... Okay, no, I get yeah, you, I get you. That's why I say it's false. Do it. Look for Taco Cat. Oh, okay, I'll look for Taco Cat. Maybe I'm just old and senile. Well, I'll be damned. See? Taco Cat. <laughs> I learned something new today. Does that matter? No. Remember, I said, speaking of doing bizarre <laughs> things that waste your time. See, it's really irritating, isn't it? <laughs> ah! Ah! Man, now I understand why it's so frustrating. Moving the cursor around. And we weren't like failing massively. It's the way the game is coded. What's wrong? Oh, hello, Shuichi. Are you here to give me money? You know, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I don't want to be reminded of that. It, are, are you sure you don't want to be reminded of that? It's too distracting. <laughs> I'm disappointed. A world without the killing game. That's what Miu said, wasn't it? Puh. Who asked for that? We're having so much fun with this interesting game. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Should I hang out with Kokichi even though he's like this? No. Uh, I'm actually concerned about Miu because rather than trying to figure out a way to escape, she's figuring out a way to kind of ignore the circumstances kind of like Angie was. Ah, I see what you mean. For that matter, considering that Kokichi has been like, I'll become the blackened if that's what I have to do to win. So it might end up looking... Yeah, it might be that Miu's the one who dies. Maybe so, maybe so. Honestly, I'm blasé about it now, but... And, and then there's the predictions and stuff. Right. The fact of the matter is, I will get pretty upset. Well, what do you mean? I don't know, just that I'm... At this point, at this point... Having gone through so many Dongan Rompas, uh -huh. I'm not likely to get like really wishy-washy talking about the potential of things happening, but when they do happen, you know. Hmm. 
And I think it's important to never lose sight of that. Otherwise, you've lost the killing game in your heart, right? Could you rephrase that in a different way, please? Why? I thought it said exactly what I wanted it to say. Speaking of, does Kokichi really plan on becoming the Blackened? Maybe you should be more careful about letting him into your research lab. There are lots of poisons in there, so... Well, there's a lot of things he can use to kill uh, everywhere. Like, are you locking up your lab, Maki? We thought about who to hang out with. It's really confusing because of Kaede. Yeah. You know? But it turns out the only person we don't actually have that first one with is... Himiko. So, despite the fact that this is the chapter in which she kind of awakens and becomes more positive and active, it's time to discuss her laziness and apathy. Definitely seems out of order, but <laughs> speaking of out of order, we're the bitter sweet gamers. Oh, Shuichi, have you come to give me money? Hey, Shuichi. No! <laughs> no, why does everybody want money? Oh my god! All you people just trying to take advantage hey, of... Shuichi. Grumble, 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 grumble. Hmm. Hmm. Good answer. In that case, you're going to help me maintain my magical implements. What was the good answer? Me complaining about you asking for money? Uh, yes? Be embarrassed. You can practice blushing some more. <laughs> Ah, so maybe this isn't going to be about her laziness, but instead her magic. Oh, that'd be cool. Hey. Himiko! Himiko! Um. Oh, that is what he said. What? What? Huh? She looks annoyed. Her glare is telling me to go away, but I think she was really just going, yeah. Uh, um... If you don't want to talk to me, you could have just turned me down when I asked if you want to hang out. What a pain. I'm too lazy to say no. Well, we've already addressed how this is out of time, so... Hmm. I see. So you really want me to leave, but you just agreed in hopes I'd give you something? I think the term is called Sundari? I, I don't think so. Anyway, in the past, I've never met someone so thoroughly lazy. But that is strange. Um. Hey, Himiko, why did you decide to be a magician? Okay. I'm not a magician. I'm a mage, you muggle. I'm a mage, and I use real magic. Don't get it wrong again, or I'll turn you into a newt. A newt? You'll get better. I feel as though there were many references <laughs> from across the pond thrown at me. It's magic. It's real magic, okay? You, you get it, right? Okay, fine. <laughs> Why don't we settle this? I'll believe you every time. Show me some real magic. It doesn't have to be a big spell. It can be a small spell that doesn't take very many MP. <laughs> what about that, huh? Then... Do it! Do it! Do it now! <laughs> well, that's... What's me. wrong? There's no mana here, so I can't... That's not the type of MP your system uses, and you know it. If you sacrificed yourself, That's I not could. the system that you've already established, and you know it. <laughs> I'm paying attention to what you say, little girl. No. Still, I would rather not be <laughs> sacrificed, so I will decline. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. I guess you're just not passionate enough about magic. <laughs> <laughs> Not passionate enough to sacrifice myself, maybe. <sighs> hmm. Anyway, what were we talking about? Why I'm a mage? Yes, why you're a magician? Why are you asking about that? Because I want to know? That's... Do you want to fight? <laughs> I think it's weird that I've just gotten really aggressive for no reason. <laughs> Isn't it strange that such a lazy girl would go through so much work for a magic trick? Um, 
well, he's not referring to a magic trick. It, it's more like, isn't it strange that someone so lazy would work so hard to learn all these skills and be able to do them? Yeah. But there's nothing that says a lazy person doesn't work extremely hard at what it is they like to do. Yeah. I don't actually think there are very many people that are all that lazy. Rather, that... They just don't care about certain things. And so it's really difficult to make them to do things that they don't want to do. I'm not saying that that's a good thing or that that's, like, acceptable. Right. But I, I really feel that the idea of laziness is not quite understood. So, there. Remember. It seems like magic requires a ton of work to prepare, whether it's stage magic or having to accumulate MP from blood sacrifices. <laughs> Jeez. A typical amateur question. You don't need annoying preparations for magic. Then why did you have your uniform that was all clean and dry behind the stairs in that magic show? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mate. I'm talented. Not relying on my talent would go against my master's teachings. I think that's the most offensive thing I've ever heard. <laughs> if you have that type of talent, you owe it to yourself to develop it. Ah, the Leon philosophy, huh? From Dongon 1, he never went to practice. He just relied on his talent, never tried to get better or good at it, and so his teammates freaking hated him. Yeah, that. In fact, he was so blasé about the whole thing, he didn't even want to play bas or baseball, basketball. He didn't even want to play baseball. He wanted to be a singer to impress a chick, remember? Right. The thing is, if you have talent and don't polish it, it disappears. Yeah. And nothing is worse than having talent, not trying and using that talent to achieve a modicum of success over someone who doesn't have the same level of talent but works very hard. Yeah, yeah. Like, it'd be different if the person actually, like, busted their butt to use it. Yeah, that's different. But if they don't bust their butt, that just, well, it spreads bitterness and hate. Got that? Man, I have a chip on my shoulder. I don't even really feel particularly strongly about all this. What's wrong with me, Billy? <laughs> well, we all have those days, Damon. I will try my hardest to not be so consumed with anger and hate. I'm not in a bad mood. I apparently really just want to use my talent to run around and just beat the crap out of lots of people. What's up, Billy? <laughs> hmm. I'll shut up. <laughs> master, huh? You have a master, Himiko? Yeah. Yeah? Did I not tell you? Yet. Okay. This is the first time I'm hearing it. So there are apprentice magicians? Do you think we just make it up as we go or just pull it from the ether or something? No, of course people have to train us. But listening to the way you talk makes it sound like you are making it up as you go and you do pull it from the ether. Well, whose delusions are you going to believe here? What? Wait, <laughs> is that an argument against your own purpose or? Hmm. Hmm. That's right. My master was an amazing archmage. Wait. Hey, wait, you called me a magician again. I'm a mage. <laughs> Friendship fragment obtained. I like how the event just ends. And so, you know, Shuichi's like, go on. And she's like, I'm too lazy to continue. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> well, I had to spend some time calming Himiko down. She'd become quite pouty. I wonder what kind of person Himiko's master is. That's a really good question. is an announcement. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. I have no appeal and I've forgotten everything I ever knew. Um, this is an official announcement from, what, what's this place called? What's that pipe in the background behind him? Um, I don't know. I bet I did it one time, but not now. Uh, I feel like I'm failing. And I'm getting really embarrassed. But fortunately, I won't remember it when I wake up. Hmm? 
What time is it right now? I forgot. Hey. Actually, have I always been alone? I forgot that too. I, I can't remember. I feel like I used to have someone very important to me. going to die this time. It could be either of them. I kind of think Monophony is going to last till the end. That is one perspective that makes sense, and I was thinking that as well, but now it's gone so far <laughs> that maybe Monotaro, who is the red, is going, is going to kill Monophony for some reason, uh... and then go even crazier and regain his memory and <laughs> become, like, kind of a super brilliant ultimate monster. You know what? I would like that to happen. That would be kind of cool. That could also happen. However, if that's not going to happen, then Monophony needs to get rid of him. Yes. All right, time to go to training. Kaito and Maki should be in the courtyard. Training two nights in a row? Has that even happened before? <laughs> Does no one sleep? It seems like everyone's up right now. Um. Oh, Shuichi. Are you here to give me money? What are you doing, Tsumugi? Asking you for money. I'm not contributing to your only fans. But you've got all these mono coins. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I don't want to contribute to your only fans or your Patreon. Please help. What are you doing, Tsumugi? Huh? Oh, Shuichi. Uh, nothing really. That announcement played when I was going back to my room. Jeez! It would have been fine if they just told us the time, but why did it have to be so pathetic? I mean, melodramatic. Well, I, I think some of the other ones were a lot worse. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't know, but it's definitely too much. I can't even follow the plot anymore. It's really <laughs> gone off the rails. It's just like every chapter is a new season. Wait, what's a chapter? <laughs> That is not funny. I'm more concerned about the moral implications. Aren't the Moto Cubs siblings? <laughs> yes, you're, you're right. It's just I'm pretty sure that's just a bit. But then... Ah, you're going to say they're robots, so can robots even have siblings? Or morals? You're the robophobe, Kibo! <laughs> Your internalized robophobia! Please stop! How could they have such an inappropriate relationship with each other? No. Um, the monocups are bears, right? I don't know if human morals apply to them. You are colonizing the robot space <laughs> with your internalized robophobia. Or, actually, I guess they're robots, not bears. That's robophobic. So you're also a robophobe, Sumugi. Hey now. You were the one who brought it up, Kibo. Your persecution complex is a bit over the top. <laughs> <laughs> I love her role as <laughs> the straight man. Like every so often she's the straight man. Like in those rare moments uh -huh. where that's going to come up, she's the one who's going to do it. The rest of the time she's weird too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He does have strong, um, shall we say, beliefs. <laughs> oh, okay. Shuichi! What's the matter? I recommend that you return to your room, as the nighttime announcement just played. Okay. Oh, yeah, I will. After I'm done, I'll head straight back. Jeez, what's with all these ex-student council types <laughs> hanging around <laughs> telling me to go to sleep? I mean, in a way, they're kind of carrying on Angie's will to a degree, you know, trying to still keep an eye out, even though that's kind of done. It doesn't do any good, though. Yeah. Yes, please do. Another murder could occur if you're out of your room at night. I guess. That's right. I don't want to think about the killing game starting up again. Kokichi said all those unsettling things earlier. 
That's right. Kaito may have silenced him at the time, but he is an evil mastermind. I can't imagine Kokichi being so easily swayed. Kokichi's not gonna kill anybody. Maybe next chapter Kokichi will kill somebody, but not now. Yeah. But... But Kokichi's never serious. Which means he's probably serious about 50 plus percent of the time. Maybe even as far as much as like three fourths. Mm -hmm. That was probably all his idea of a joke, right? Hmm. He may have been joking. He may have been serious too. It is very difficult to determine the sincerity of his statements because he's a liar. Remember, I never have any idea what he's thinking. That's what makes him dangerous. If only Damon were here, he could let us know. <laughs> yeah. As the Kokichi Whisperer. Either way, we should not let our guard down. Another murder should not occur as long as we all stay vigilant. Yeah. Yeah, let's do our best. Follow me on Instagram. Don't make me give you money. <laughs> And he burns in the night! Sorry. What about burning in the night? I have no idea why I even did that. <laughs> it just, it's just, you know, sometimes you get up to get a dang sip of water and you start saying something silly and the mic is going and before you know it, you're jamming out. <laughs> hmm. Kaito, what's wrong? Do you have to go to the bathroom again? All the way over there, <laughs> far from your room? suspiciously, where we hear you coughing a lot if we follow you. What? You follow me? Nope. He's been like this because of what happened. What happened? What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Nah. No! And I really hope you believe me! I'm fine. My stomach just hurts is all. Uh. There is absolutely nothing else going on. Hey! For today's training, instead of exercise, huh. how about the three of us just talk? Well, I guess that's certainly physically easier on you right now. Uh, I suppose we'd better hurry up and get the last of the silliness out of our system. <sighs> huh? What? Talk? About what? Idiot. Stupid! Nobody decides what they talk about before they start. Well, let's go find somewhere to sit. Hey, there's some benches right here. Kaito picked a random spot in the courtyard away from the benches <laughs> where groups of people sit to find a place where groups of people sit. And we all sat as a group of people. <laughs> I told ya. <laughs> so what are we gonna talk about? <laughs> didn't you just say we didn't have to decide that? Well, yeah, but we're starting to talk now, so this is the point in which we have to Aniki. choose something to... Okay. Come on, man, that was just a joke. Uh, uh, right. Then... He's trying to bring this up himself. Yeah. Let's talk about Mach. <laughs> I'm sorry, the first thing that popped in my head was talking about girls, but unfortunately the girl in question is right here. <laughs> me? What about me? You know, like general stuff about you. There's a lot of stuff we don't know. And then when it gets to be his turn, he'll be like, and I have tuberculosis. Uh, yeah. For example, what blood type do you like? Or he's just <laughs> putting it off by asking about this. What blood type do I like? Don't you mean, what's my blood type? Hmm? Did I say something weird? Well, whatever. <laughs> He's so nervous. Like, that's just putting on a front. Yeah. Kaito, you're kind of bad at this. <laughs> then you ask something. What's your question for her, huh? Am I like a guinea pig to you guys? Next, we're going to play truth or dare. Well, I have been meaning to ask. Truth or dare? What the heck are you, 84 years old? Maybe. Did, ah. <laughs> when we first met, you said you were the ultimate child caregiver. Why was that? You're asking a good question. Since there are no children around, I mean, other than the high school students who really are children, especially the older you get. <laughs> yeah. Since there aren't going to be any toddlers running around, 
you can't be proven right or wrong. That's a good reason. No accoutrements of ultimate, ultimate child caregiving other than children. Shuichi, that's way too direct. You can't just cut to the chase like that. So who do you like, Maki? <laughs> oh, really? Sorry. All right, then. Let's play it safe and ask her about her favorite spaceship. <laughs> I like the Rhineforce Jr. and the Jean d'Arc. I grew up in an orphanage. Hmm? I don't know anything about my parents. They were gone before I can remember. You know, I'm sure I said something about this in Danganronpa 1. Uh-huh. And it does feel silly after this has played 5,000 times since then. But man, this song, Heartless Journey, uh -huh. it's really good. <laughs> it's used in every game and it's really good every time. Maki slowly began to tell us her story. Sumugi! At the orphanage where I lived, the older kids had to take care of the younger ones. Because of that, I started looking after the younger ones. <laughs> I see. So that wasn't a lie then. For some reason, kids like me, but I'm not particularly fond of taking care of them. You don't seem particularly fond of anything. Yeah. Maybe that suits you better than being an assassin. Nope. It's not a matter of whether it suits me or not. I never had the right to choose from the start. Huh? The right to choose? <sighs> When I was around 10 years old, these strangers started visiting the orphanage. That's where the cult got its assassins, after all. At first, they seemed like normal, kind men. With smiles on their faces, they watched the kids play. But the men never approached them. Thinking back on it, I'm sure they were scoping out our talents. Huh? They were scouting for assassins? And that's why you were picked? Okay. I didn't want to go, but I heard they would donate a huge sum of money if I did. I remember thinking that because of that I had to go. But that was the beginning of hell. I suppose for her, maybe that's why she doesn't show remorse from the beginning. It was her decision. Mm, that makes sense. Ever since that day, I trained to become an assassin. Jeez. I think I had some natural talent to begin with, but I worked incredibly hard as well. What was I saying earlier? About talent and hard work! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> if I couldn't keep up as an assassin, the orphanage would no longer receive funding. That's awful. And then, I wouldn't have a purpose in life anymore. Training was difficult. I vomited every day and cried every night. But after vomiting and crying over and over again, my heart gradually became empty. <laughs> she just vomited it all out, huh? Yeah. Eventually, I got used to it. It was the same after my first job. For a while, I couldn't eat or sleep. I do wonder why this is in this game. What do you mean? Ultimate Assassin? Uh-huh. I mean, it's fine. I'm certainly not criticizing Maki, and I'm not really criticizing the game, but isn't this kind of outside what you're normally supposed to find? Doesn't this kind of seem like it's the setup to a different type of story, or that it's maybe, like, yeah. too badass for Danganronpa? Yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. Especially when it's basically a boilerplate story about this sort of thing. Uh, like maybe they really are just wholeheartedly embracing the shonen action thing they kind of have been treating it like from the beginning, even if it didn't necessarily uh, fit? Maybe so. Maybe something like that. I mean, every story about assassins is the same. What, there's like three possible backgrounds <laughs> and three possible plot lines? Yeah. I mean, it's fine. I'm just well, not going to be moved by its originality or, or something because I've seen it so many times. Well, you know, they got to try and make you feel sympathetic for the protagonists that are assassins, you know? Sure. I I'm not saying it's not effective or that it's the wrong choice. Yeah, yeah. No. I'm certainly not criticizing the character, but maybe, maybe Ultimate Child Caregiver would have been more interesting. Plus, then she wouldn't have shot my cat. <laughs> I knew it! 
But after doing this for such a long time, I felt numb. There were times I wondered why I had to kill these strangers. Well, if you wonder that too much, you can't keep doing the job. Yeah. And since she's already decided she has to do it so the orphanage gets money. But I eventually stopped thinking about that. I adapted to the lifestyle of killing people, of stealing their lives, and of being a horrible person. Even to this day, I think the same thing after I finish a mission. What is it? What would I have been like if I stayed at the orphanage? I still think about that all the time. Maki sighed deeply after burying her soul. <sighs> That's all. It wasn't an interesting story to listen to, was it? Bet you've heard it a thousand times in every bit of assassin <laughs> fiction. Well, sorry that this fictional character's story is reality in fiction. Uh, okay. Interesting. No, Maki, that was the burden you've been carrying all this. Ah, jeez. You're carrying too many burdens for someone so small. You know. Well, I could say the same to Shuichi. Uh, um... R really? <laughs> Listen up. Don't try to shoulder everything on your own. You gotta trust other people. Come on! But, but I want to be an insular person who doesn't reveal anything to anyone. Look, I like to think of myself as a party guy, but pity parties are not allowed. Hey, that's not bad. <laughs> Once you're able to share your burdens with your friends, then you'll be stronger. <laughs> well, if Maki Ro was able to talk this much, it means she's gotten a bit stronger already. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I told ya. That's true. It might be thanks to the training. Got it. Well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> what, you think Tenko is the only one training in the heart? My training is based on a systematic method that I don't follow. No, it is! <laughs> it's really good! Uh, um... That's kind of vague, but I can't really make fun of it. Oh, it's vague on purpose! Do whatever Kaito feels like until he breaks through? <laughs> Why not? No, it's, it's very good. If only he could grab somebody else and bring them in, too. We spent a long while talking about whatever came to our minds. To be perfectly honest, I don't see why he's not trying to do this with, uh, everyone. Think about it. If everyone got together for, like, a communal event like this, you know... Yeah, that's what I was shrieking about in the first two games over and over and over. Because I guarantee you, every single person here could benefit from this. Yeah, it doesn't make Kaito their leader. No! Like, Shuichi and Maki know that he's kind of useless. <laughs> but this is what he's for. Yeah. No one else can do this. How interesting that I was screaming for it in the first two games. No, you have to actively bond. And then in the third game, the one that seems to be most catered towards our tastes, yeah. is that's the one where it actually happens that way. <laughs> most of it was meaningless conversation, of course, but it might have been the first time I was able to actually have fun and forget this place. All right, now let's compare our collections of death flags. Here's mine. Whomp. <laughs> Meanwhile, Shuichi is like, I only accumulated a few in chapter one. Ka Kaede, however, accumulated like seven trillion in chapter one, so my two or three were pretty pointless. And then Maki, well, I guess she's had two or three, but... Yeah. You know, the other people are like 50, so... <laughs> to protect my friends, I need to reveal the truth of this academy. I need to face the truth and reveal it to the world. I have to... to keep my friends alive. Uh oh! Whoa! Are we going to collude? Hi! Hello! <laughs> oh boy, collusion! My favorite! His white house whiter than freshly made rice! His black house blacker than the darkest night! Is this about to be like 
some type of theme song for a Disney afternoon show? <laughs> Did you call for me? It's Moto! 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 Moto Kuma! Hmm. You actually came! Huh. So I guess I'm allowed to do this, huh? Wow. It's like when Kinami talked to the Moto Cubs. Maybe the rest of us should have paid attention. <laughs> hey, why am I insinuating that to you? Anyway. <laughs> Is it really okay for me to talk to you in private like this? The hell do I care? <laughs> yeah. Well, technically, it's not a rule violation. And if it was, I don't care. Besides, I can't pass up an opportunity to make the killing game more exciting. Wow, this is the most fun he's had in some time. Or maybe you. <laughs> right? I was thinking the same thing. What was it I said way back in chapter one? That he's just trying to have fun? Yeah, 100%. This fun and vicious killing game is the only thing on my mind. And another thing. Uh, with that said, you're not even going to try and use that motive? You really don't get it. A crazy motive like this should be used in a more dramatic way, don't you think? I'll just hold on to it until such a time appears. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh, I see. That's what I've been thinking. So I tried coming up with ways to use it. Well, you know. You do know it just goes to the library, right? And I finally <laughs> came up with an idea. So, this is my proposal. My proposal to take over the killing game! Yeah, wait, what? Oh, I didn't say that out loud, did I? A certain someone is planning something interesting. So, if we use the motive there, Miu is planning something with the new world system. Oh. <laughs> then I think that would really spice up the game. So, are you in? <laughs> you really are an evil bastard. More so than you. Yeah. I know, I'm kind of offended. <laughs> of course <laughs> I am. I am the ultimate supreme leader, you know? Let's have more fun. I will drag this world into the pits of terror using my villainous power to commit evil. I feel like I should be taking notes. Oh my. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Great Scott, this is heavy. <laughs> have to do with this. You can trust a dishonest man to be dishonest. After all, there's no such thing as a gigawatt. <laughs> it's the honest ones you want to watch out for. Yeah, I've been saying this uh, kind of about myself, you know. I know. I've been paying attention, Damon. Because you can never predict when they're going to do something incredibly stupid. It's honestly easier to go through life without telling a single lie. Any jackass can go through life without making enemies. Which means honest people are just lazy jerks who'd rather coast through life. How pathetic! Huh. Uh, by the way, the recent trend of encouraging honesty is actually a lie! You see, it's better for liars if there are more honest people in the world to deceive. They've been lying about that trend so there can be more stupid, honest people. Huh. But that might be a lie, too. <laughs> ah, that's just overcomplicating everything. Sophistry. I'll sophist your tree. Would you please? I don't really want to pay someone else to do it. How many trees you need sophist? Come find out! Oh good, let's just move on then. Actually... Oh. Um, this is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. 
It is now 8 a.m. We ran out of jokes. You know how it goes. It happens to us all. Where did he run off to? Probably with some other woman, I bet. Wait, I thought it was just a repeating gag, but you're pushing it a bit far, aren't you? But dump <laughs> But that's fine. As long as he's happy, I'm fine with that. Don't worry. Maybe not today, but someday I'm gonna be happy too. And when you can say that and believe it and mean it, that means you've actually gotten over it. Yeah. But it's really hard to say that and mean it. Yeah. In fact, nine times out of ten when someone tells me they're content and happy with life, I don't believe them. Oh, you should assume those are the you least sh- content and least happy people. The biggest lie that mankind seems to want to tell itself is that you're happy with where you are right now. One of the reasons that people will tell you that lie, it's not a lie for everybody. Right, right, right. But the reason but the reason that most people will tell you that lie is because if they admit that they are not happy, then they're saying that the actions they took, the attitude they had, uh-huh. everything they uh-huh. did in their life, the decisions they made to get to where they are, were wrong. Yeah. And that, that right there is the thing that a lot of people will not admit. Uh huh. So it's better to lie about being satisfied for them than it is to say that they've ever made mistakes. Yep, 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 yep. This is also what happens when someone gets proven wrong about something or encounters information that, that they think is actually probably a good enough reason to question something that they believed in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they and, and so instead what they do is double or triple down on it yeah, yeah. and come up with even ever more elaborate and ever more um, vociferous rationalizations and reasoning for that position that they are doubting. Yeah, yeah. And they don't admit to themselves that they're doubting. <gasps> He's here! Oh, oh, good. Monotaro. <laughs> you darling, what's the matter? Uh, he went out, found himself a walking stick, and then got beaten with it. Mana funny. I, I finally remember. Ooh. I need you, Mono funny. I. Too convenient, huh? I know I'll only hurt you more by saying stuff like that. <laughs> I'm sorry for everything. I don't deserve someone like you. Goodbye. Hey. And then Monotaro's evil twin wakes up from the coma he's been in. Oh, that would really be nice. <laughs> and then it turns out... Like with the evil mustache, you know? <laughs> well, I was thinking that maybe this Monotaro is just like the mangy Monokuma. <laughs> yeah, like an extra. <laughs> yeah. Wait. You silly man. But dump Yeah? Grabs the stick, starts beating him with it. Monotaro. My goodness, your body is coming apart. You really can't do anything on your own. Hey. All right, come here. I'll sew you back up. <laughs> Thank you, Monophony. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> That's so not like you. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Then we never have to deal with that again. Is it done now? <laughs> what the hell kind of ending was that? And that was way too long for an announcement. What the hell? If we're lucky. We'll never see the Mono Cubs again. <laughs> oh, you optimist. We're not going to be lucky. Well. In any case, it is time to go to the dining hall. Everything's going to be fine for now, but probably maybe one more night before it hits the fan, I'd imagine. I would say tomorrow in the game is most definitely going to be when the waste material comes into contact with the oscillating unit. Sayo. Really, like, why didn't we just sit down here? Why did we go all the way over here? Man, you got no respect for process. Uh, touch grass or something. <laughs> um. Good morning, Kaito. Oh. Oh, hey, bro. 
Perfect timing. Uh, can I get your opinion on something? Huh? Always. <laughs> you can always get my opinion. Now for what? I mean. Well, it's about our training. He wants to cancel it because he can't do it anymore. Uh, uh, like I said before, my training is based on a systematic method. But I feel like something's missing. Uh, um... You do? We've only done sit-ups and push-ups so far. That's right. Even if I don't need it myself, because, you know, I'm a great astronaut and whatnot, in order for you two to grow, I feel like we should add something like martial arts or some kind of mental training. Ah, oh. oh, now that you mention it, I do have a practice sword. Oh, all right. It's, it's the uh, hidden event we needed an item for. Oh. Is it? Oh. Yeah. There oh, were sweet. two in this chapter. We already got the one with uh, Himiko and Gonta. Oh, good idea. Practicing with those will be a great training exercise. I'm sure Makiro is looking forward to hurting me in new and exciting ways. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> All right, let's not wait till night. We're going to do this special training as soon as the boarding events are over. Yes. All right. It's decided. I'll bring Makiro, so let's meet at the usual place right over there. Yeah, right over there. But first, breakfast. I'll see you there. Choo. Are there any more hidden items that we need? No. Uh, or rather, I mean, are there any more events after this chapter? No, actually. That's what I was wondering. Uh, that kind of means that chapter five is going to be pretty uh, different. Then. Yeah, this is going to be the last quote unquote regular chapter, but it's already been really accelerated. Yeah. Hey! Come out, tiny nanite bug things! Where are you hiding? Come talk to Gonta. Gonta, has that ever worked? No. Gonta. <laughs> what, what's wrong? Are you looking for someone? Oh. Oh, good morning, Shuichi. Gonta not looking for person. Gonta looking for tiny bug, as always. We are aware of that, yes. Hmm. You know, I was wondering about that. Have you found any? Hmm. Well, Gonta no can find him. Hmm, you know, maybe they're not nano machines. We know they're not bugs. Right. Well, what else could they be? And then? they're not tardigrades because they can't fly. Right, right. It might be that the project we're in, uh -huh. whatever it is, is that we have all been blown up 100 times human size. So we're giants, see? And those are actually normal sized people flying around trying to get inside. Somehow, I don't think that's the case. It probably isn't. But that's some good thinking outside the box, I'll give you that. I am very outside the box. You are way outside that box. Get back in the box. Okay, I'll get back in the box then, where it's safe. <laughs> go to see him lots of times, so go to pretty sure it not mistake. See, there's only one, that's the thing. Yeah. It's this one really small little dude in a jet <laughs> flying around <laughs> with a camera. No. Well, then why is he hovering around them a lot? Why doesn't he just go somewhere else if he doesn't want to get bothered? <laughs> maybe it's a parasite. Okay, fine, maybe it's a parasite. Are you done? Okay, maybe it's a parasite then. Hmm. I see. I, I don't see. <laughs> but. But go to happy, Shuichi love bugs so much. I love bugs! <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Please understand, I love all the bugs. <laughs> don't hurt me. <clears throat> I, I mean, I, I mean, I don't like bugs that much. Huh? What? You hate bugs, Shuichi? You see, this is why I add <laughs> them that I like the bugs to avoid this. Wait! I love them, Gota! I said that before, right? You right? Oh yeah, you right. <laughs> you good person. So of course you like bugs. Allow Gonta. All right, Gonta go find tiny bug for Shuichi. No matter what it takes. Look forward to it. Gota away, like leaps off into the stratosphere. It's no use. <laughs> If he were going to leap off into the stratosphere, then he'd be jumping through the sky panels in our cage. <laughs> uh, 
I still get chills thinking about the insect meet and greet. Ah, oh, good morning, Himiko. Yeah? Yeah? It's you, Shuichi. Are you here to give me money? No! This morning was very unfortunate. Huh? Did something happen? Were you reminded of the insect meet and greet, maybe? <laughs> mm. <laughs> what are you saying? The Mono Cup's drama ended. <sighs> Mono Taro awakened to love. It looked like a new development, but then it was over the next day. What a rip. So you were really looking forward to the next installment of the plot line, huh? Maybe the next one will have more of like a mystery thriller thing going on. I'd personally love some sci-fi action. Okay. I thought maybe it was going to turn out that Bonofini had a baby in her stomach. See, this is this is the way to take what they were doing, right? How about that? And it would actually be the child of one of the dead Mono Cubs. <sighs> Those are the kinds of melodramatic twists and turns I expected. But... I am <laughs> not sure it would be much fun watching a melodrama like that. Yeah? No, no, this is typical daytime soap opera stuff. Next she'll burn the roast, then bang, zoom, to the moon! <laughs> <sighs> Come on, Shuichi, have some culture! You're right. Well, if it's already over, that's that. Look, you know and I know that it's actually better for the story to just end when it ends. <laughs> that way it doesn't get recycled, drawn out. It's better to finish well. And now everybody can indulge their creative juices by starting in a new story. And just because it's not the genre that you wanted it to be doesn't mean there's not value in watching it because it's good to look at things outside of the box for once. Get back inside the box, Damon. I think I'll get back inside the box. Oh, look, soap. <laughs> That's right. Throwing away my regrets and moving forward. That's my new way of life. I'm moving forward. Huh, Himiko, do you know a lot about soap operas? Why are you talking to me? I'm not there. Hmm. Huh? Oh no! Where are Miu and Kokichi? Jeez. I understand why Kokichi's gone, but where's Miu? Hmm. She's probably still messing with that computer on the fourth floor. That's right. Or she might be in her lab working on another invention. I saw many half-built machines in her lab when she performed maintenance on me. Aha. Uh -huh. Start something, then just moves on when it, when it gets stale and another idea hits. Hmm. Well, messing with machines and computers is about all she's good for. Certainly not conversation. Well, you're one to talk. I am. Uh, what could she be up to? Nothing good. Huh? Gonta, what's wrong? Um... Gonta's still thinking. Since yesterday, how can Gonta be useful? Find that bug. What? But Gonta no can think of anything. So frustrating. I mean, I like Gonta. Don't get me wrong. He's a good guy. Don't you think he actually has something of an ego problem? What do you mean? Oh, that mentality of I should be able to solve and protect everyone and do everything. And if I can't, I see what you're saying. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and if I can't, it's my fault. Yeah, yeah. Everything kind of revolves around me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's innocent. He he is genuine about, like, his kindness, but th it's a type of overbearing, benign egocentrism yeah. that really only causes him pain. Yeah, it doesn't benefit anyone, that's for sure. Doesn't benefit himself. I don't know, he needs, he needs to trust in himself more. But then again, I guess that's why he's trying to become a gentleman, because he doesn't trust himself. Yeah. He thinks that everything he's doing is wrong, so he's trying to... Oh, poor Gonta. Come on, man. Okay, but you, you don't need to make such a scary face, man. Besides, it's not just you. That's something we all got to think about. That's right. We all should be thinking about what we can do to survive. Hmm. Use your self-destruct system to save us. That's how robots make themselves useful. Oi! 
Hey! <laughs> Even though that is true, at least hesitate before you blurt out something like that. Well, can you do it? Can you take out an exosol like that? <laughs> but you admit it's true, huh? I guess. I'll keep thinking about it too. If I come up with a good idea, I'll tell you guys. What about cosplaying as the dead Moto Cubs? I don't think I have the figure for that. Look, I'm just saying, if we all get involved in performing in their dramas, then we might get some information that we didn't have before. Oh, that's what you meant. I would never be involved in that track. <laughs> all right! Now that that's settled, let's eat! If you don't eat well, you can't think well. Man, you must eat terribly. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch, bro! <laughs> I mean, of course I don't mean that. <laughs> we finished eating breakfast, and then after a remarkably uneventful morning, instead of a 45 minute long scene, we returned to our rooms. Oh no. We needed to get our thoughts together because serious things are going to be happening soon. We were completely unaware that an unspeakable malice was brewing. But first, the extra event with Kaito. As Billy said, training with Kaito. He said the usual place, so I will meet him in the courtyard. Whoosh, I am whisked away, and ta-da. Got it. Oh, there you are, bro. Well. I was surprised when you mentioned a special kind of training. <laughs> well. You brought the thing we need for our new training, right? What? New training? Shuichi! Pass it here! Okay. Here, but is this even usable? Is it safe? Hmm. Is this a practice sword? Why would you have something like this? Uh, I hate swords. <laughs> huh? Huh? Why are you making such a disgusted face, Makiro? Oh, that's right, Maki is no good with swords and hates them, which is why I might even be kind of fair. <laughs> At least more so than anything else to ever train with the sword to beat us all up. <sighs> so you didn't tell Kaito yet. When I first started working, I botched a mission with a katana. Since then, I decided not to use swords. Come on, I can use knives, bows, and all manner of guns. Everything else is fine, just not swords. I see. Well... Don't make that face. I know you didn't mean any harm by it. But you know... So, you don't want to use this to beat me up then? <laughs> no, it's my fault for making you remember something that makes you feel bad. All right! All right, tell us about it now! Oh, listen to all of it! Tell us about how you tried to kill someone with the sword! <laughs> Man, so moving! <laughs> Who was he? A father of three? All right! What? Huh? Listen up. It's difficult to talk to people about your failures. I get it. But didn't I tell you? Maki roll! Being able to share your burdens with others, that's how you get stronger! Don't hold on to your past forever. You gotta confront it to move on. And I'm gonna help you with that. I don't understand. What are you saying? Oh, you're ridiculous. Anyway, that failure doesn't bother me anymore. Okay, sure. But I guess I don't mind talking about it if you really don't mind hearing about it. Just be warned, it's a boring story that includes violence and malice. <laughs> Before, she would have just told me to mind my own business. Mind our own business. Yeah. She would have told us to. These are the translation things I talk about, you know? Maki's changed a lot since then. Well... When planning an assassination, you need to gather detailed information first. You need to know the target, their schedule, movements, friends, and acquaintances. For this particular target, he normally worked late into the night. But when I looked further into his schedule, I found out he was into some nerdy hobbies. Hmm? Ner nerdy hobbies? You mean like Sumugi is? That's right. Yeah, just like her. He especially liked cosplay. Huh? Cosplay? <laughs> Never in a million years would I imagine hearing cosplay from Maki's mouth. I told you. So. 
while I observed my target's private life and was utterly repulsed by it. <laughs> Oi! I thought of a good plan to get close to him while concealing my weapon. Uh, um... She dressed up, and so she's embarrassed. Aha! Uh -huh. She dressed up in cosplay and was embarrassed by it. <laughs> How? What? Wait! I, but, but isn't that Shuichi's line? No, it says Kaito. Okay. A prop carrying case. Huh? What's that? How is it different from a normal carrying case? Well... Sumugi would know. Well, she's not here and I'm asking you. It's a specially made carrying case for cosplay props. It can accommodate large props, so it's convenient to carry around. So I placed a katana into that carrying case and made my move. Oh my god, does she have prop weapons in there too and that's what the problem was? She grabbed a prop oh, and tried no. to kill him with it? But then the <laughs> people around thought I was a cosplayer and something odd happened. I guess seeing a middle school at the time girl in probably a uniform wielding a katana does something for some people? <laughs> huh? What happened? <sighs> On that day, and it's my fault, I didn't do enough research, they were holding a cosplay event in the same hall the target had gone to. Unfortunately, I had the same height and hairstyle as a popular character who also carried a katana. <laughs> oh my god. They thought I, I was cosplaying that character. I told you it was a middle school girl. Yep, yep. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> so I got dragged into a hall by a group of excited people with expensive cameras. They almost saw the weapons I had in my case. It would have been fine. They would have thought if they were props. They, they would have found out my katana was actually real. He sounds like a close call. <laughs> I was wondering what this serious failure of yours was going to be. Okay. Yeah, honestly, it was much cuter and way less violent than I was expecting. <sighs> Don't laugh. For me, it was very serious. Last time I looked online, you can still find all those pictures. Uh, what, was, what website? Asking for a friend? That's right. I was branded as a failure because of something so stupid. Ah, there we go. If they didn't donate to the orphanage anymore, then it would have been the end. Ah! Oh. oh, I see. My bad. Yeah, you're right. That's not funny. You totally should have killed that guy. <laughs> and that's how he for me got away. No, just <laughs> I'm really sorry for laughing. Sorry. Yeah, me too. Sorry for laughing, Maki. <laughs> Do you want to die? <laughs> Jeez. You don't need to apologize. I'm not mad. She especially ain't mad now. I don't have friends. <laughs> I'll die for them. Is possibly realistic. Maki turned her head to the side with that adorable pout. That expression on her face, opening up to us with her stories. I never could have imagined this. My impression of her has changed yet again. There's still so much I don't know about Maki and Kaito. I really don't even know anything about Kaito at all. I hope Maki is right. We can learn more about each other after we get out. No, we will become friends. We will definitely get out of here. Oh, cool. Thanks for the flag, bro. And one for you, <laughs> one for you, and one for me. After a bout of training with the sword, I returned to my room. What to do, what to do. What can I do? When I talk like this, it only means the same thing. It always means. Which is, he says a line like this and then free time. Yes. The only thing I'm good at is solving mysteries, but I still can't figure out this academy. Maybe I should try to figure out the academy and solve the mystery instead of hanging out with people being social and waiting for someone to die. Yeah, you know, put in some effort. I don't have many clues, but that's no excuse. I should ask BSG for all the discrepancies that have come <laughs> up. Surely they're paying attention. Huh?
Yo la te Tu sé que a te no Nani ka ya chigeru Nani ka tarinai Dare ni mo yenai koto Kotae Sagashi te mi te mo Nani ka tarashi Nani ga machigai Yeah, yeah, yeah. 